Okay, uh, third time's a charm. Let's try this again without <laughs> interruptions. Um, okay, so first thing we need to do on this one, this is actually uh, Lab 4.1, is we're going to highlight annual sales all the way through, uh, annual salary all the way through future value. <laughs> and we want to name these. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, formulas and create from selection and then we're going to use the left hand column th those are the the named column and we're going to apply those to the right hand column so once we say left hand column then we're going to say okay and then these are now named so if you go to the name box which is to the top left and drop down you'll see that they're all named okay now the only there are, um, there's only two that need to have formulas. Monthly contribution, that needs to have a formula. And that's an if statement. And I've gone ahead and put that if statement in. If percent investment invested times annual salary is less than 13,000, then the percent in value times annual salary divided by 12 and 13,000 divided by 12. So that's that formula for monthly contribution. For future value, future value is a FV formula for future value. So that one's going to be equals. And you want to start it with a minus because we don't want our number to come out as a minus. So if we start it off as a minus, then the number will come out as a plus, FV. And then we're going to double click on FV in blue here. So the first thing we're going to do is our rate. That's annual return. So I'm going to click on annual return, divided by 12, and, which is a comma, uh, years so now this is next years times 12 and monthly contribution so the last one is monthly contribution and then we're going to close that with a parenthesis okay so that takes care of your formulas now the next thing you're going to do is you have to do a table and you haven't started that at all so on here, we're going to type years. And on here, we're going to type future value. And I'm going to type future, T-U-R-E. And then I'm going to do Alt-Enter. And that brings us down below it. And I'm going to type value. OK, now that was Alt-Enter, just so that you know. See how that now you've got future and value on two separate lines. And then on H, we're going to type employee investment. So employee is first. And then we're going to all to enter again. And that brings us down to the next line. And then investment. Okay, and then I hit enter and that puts it down on that line. Okay, so on F6, we're going to list our years. So on F6, we're going to type a 1. F7, we're going to type a 2. And then we're going to highlight F6 and F7. And we're going to use the fill handle and drag that down through 18. Okay, and the reason why we do one and two because we want to get give your formula an opportunity to see a series, and if you just did a one at the beginning and drag that down with the fill handle, you'd get ones all the way down. But if you do a one two, it tells it that there there is a series there, and so it's going to look for one two and the next one's three, the next one's four, etc. All the way down. Okay, so we've got that one. The future value on G5 
is going to be equal to d11. So on g5, we're going to type equals d11 and enter. So that gives us the future value. And then on employee investment, we're going to do equals 12 times D10 times D9. 12 times D10, which is monthly contribution, times D9, which is years. So that's 12 times monthly contribution times years. Okay, now here's the cool thing. The cool thing with this is that we're going to do a table so we don't have to drag and drop. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight uh, F5 through H23 and then we're going to go to data and then we're going to do what if and data table and here's a uh, data table and we're going to put just the column input cell and so right here I'm going to click there and the column input we're going to use is years which is D9 so I'm going to click D9 there and I'm going to say OK OK and there you have it so now all we have to do is come over here drag this down and we're just going to right click uh, format cells uh, we'll do currency and we'll do two places and no dollar sign. So there we are. Two decimal place currency, two decimal places, no dollar sign where it says symbol and click OK. So that gives us two decimal places. Alrighty, that's it for this one. And uh, all you need to do now is just format your page and fill in your borders and colors and you'll be good to go. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.